Well, I struck it rich, but not in the way that you would think. thinking that Mr. Mac did not get a lot of footage this morning with Allie. He even called me to come out and help. She would not cooperate whatsoever this morning. The thing about most dairy, or I know it is here, some other people like VW maybe can uh, agree or attest to this. Most of your dairy want to be with their babies. I know our beef herd basically will have their babies and if you go pour them some food, they're gonna leave those babies and they're gonna go to that feed. So our dairy mamas really, really wanna be mamas. That might not be true everywhere, but that has proved to be true in our experience with having dairy and beef cattle on the farm for several years. Allie was very difficult this morning, hence is why we didn't get very much footage of not wanting to go into the stanchion. Really, it's like their whole temperament just changes. Um, they become that mother figure who don't want to part from their calf. And if you interrupt them at all, baby and mama just kind of flips out. And I can honestly see where big dairy farms, a lot of our big dairy farms around here, they always pull their calves off. Bottle feed them, don't let them stay with mama. I know some of that's dealing with milking, but it also makes it so much more difficult to milk when there's a baby involved. Hence why I can see why big dairy commercials pull those babies off because our dairy mamas just tend to be so much more active and involved in their calf versus what we've seen here on our farm with our beef herd. They'll have their calves, they'll follow food, they're 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 good mamas but they're not as intently involved with their calf as our dairy herd has been so we didn't get very much footage this morning colby called me he actually called aiden at five o'clock and said you have to bring me the halter aiden i've got to get the calf in here to get Allie in here then he called me again at six and was like i've been working with her for an over an hour it was a little after six and I, she's not going in. I've got to have some help. So I got up. Um, Aiden went into the room where the babies were and stayed with them. And I come out and helped. And we got milked. Um, and each day, it will get easier. It will get better. The more she gets more back into that routine, knowing that her calf is going to be okay, it will get better. But today was nuts. Hopefully, we can get some footage tomorrow. But as of right now, we're going on a Home Depot haul to finish up the boys' room. Time to reluctantly spend money. <laughs> this is what I was looking at that's supposed to be life proof. So it says life proof, but is it really life proof? So I was looking at this time. I think that's pretty. It's not real dark. Um, I like that or probably that fresh oak. Oh, uh, no. Those don't match. <laughs> what is going to be in the bathroom is going to be like that one right there, but it's a set of three. That's pretty too. Do you see that one up there? That one? It says wall lantern. Do you see it? Mama. What? Mama. You ready to go? Ready to get out of here? I don't think that Jennings has ever even rode in a buggy. Mama. 
we got lights to go on the ceiling part that does not have the recess lighting. We got a light for the hall. I think this will be cute. Got our flooring picked out, which we have to go find stain. We said we yeah. were going to do that and forgot. All right, let's go look at the stain color. When you're not usually the morning milker, but the cow doesn't act right and your husband calls you at six and says you have to come help me, I guess you get flowers in exchange for your help. My card says, thanks for all your help this morning. I love you, Colby. So, and they're absolutely beautiful, but I really didn't mind going to do it. But I do appreciate it. Thank you. I spy with my little eye a snail right there. So, watering the potato beds. Decided to trim up some of my parsley around the edges and just kind of get some of the old yellow stuff out. Man, loaded with snails. So, I thought, well, shoot, I better start checking all these beds. So, I went through. There was snails everywhere. So... What I've done is I'm going to manually get as many out as I can by hand. Then I'm going over to get the DE and I'm going to sprinkle on these beds. And the thing with DE, y'all have heard me mention before, it's called Dimitaceous Earth. Is it is, a, it is a natural mineral rock from the ground and microscopically it's sharp. So any soft bodied animal that slithers or smooths over it, smooths slides over it is supposed to slice them slice them open and cause them to basically dehydrate so that's what i'm gonna do once i get done manually going through and getting the rest of these snails are they snails or are they slugs they're shelled animals <laughs> that are hiding in our beds snails there's another one right there so we're gonna add him to the chicken bucket i actually changed my mind i'm not gonna give them to the chickens because they're not laying and i have been out here giving them tons of protein tons of grass and whatnot and we've i got one egg out yesterday no eggs the day before no eggs today and with all of our chickens they should be laying better than that come on harley let's go give these to the ducks um they should be laying better than that so since they're not they're not getting these i'm going to give them to the ducks because the ducks we have less ducks and we're getting more eggs actually we got two um two duck eggs and a turkey egg out which is way more than we're getting from the chickens so they're gonna get the snacks you gotta turn the charger off for me so i manually got that many snails out of those beds i'm just gonna give them to the ducks the ducks absolutely love them A baby snake it was already dead so something already got it but I almost stepped on the sucker miss Mac did pretty good not too bad you 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 do some damage well that was the first time I shot that gun I actually really really liked it that was the one one of the ones I got for my birthday but I have to say I mean from the distance I was at if somebody was coming towards me with the size of the body I mean, I would have got them. And I'm going to be honest, we really like guns. So part of our homesteading, though, is we believe that it is to take care of us, but also we are hunters, 
So this is just good practice for Misty. Both of us are enhanced carry permit holders, so we can carry legally through Mississippi and even uh, it re reciprocates in most states. So please know we know protection, we know safety. safety She's got, right. uh, we have safety glasses as you saw Aiden wear. Misty's got headphones, so we are safe when we're doing this. But it's good practice. Good practice. That ain't too shabby for somebody who hadn't shot in what? In what, at least a year? A bit longer than that. A year and a half. A I don't think I shot when shot. I was pregnant. Yeah. Maybe once in between, I think maybe when Jennings was small. So it's been a while since we've been able to come out here and do this. So not too bad. It's always good to be able to get out here and shoot some. Target practice. Uh, if it was, if ammo was cheaper or easier to get, we'd shoot all the time. But it's, it's hard to come by, but it's been a long day. Had fun working, but now we can kind of enjoy a little bit before we go in. Almost dark. Almost dark. Good way to end the evening. Happy homesteading, y'all. Happy homesteading, y'all.